When you have granny squares of all colors and you want them to be the star of your project and not your join, well, the invisible seam might just be the way to go. This method of joining has quickly become one of my favorites and it's the perfect two-ish minute Tuesday. To get that pulled together, fused at the seam kind of look, there's actually two ways you can go about doing it. And the method that I'm gonna show you involves using the back loops only. When you start with the first two granny squares, situate them so the right sides are facing each other, but here's where things can get confusing. What is the back loop? Just remember this. The back loop is the loop on the back side of the granny square, always. So when you start the join, the back loop of this chain on this square is right here. And on the other granny square, the back loop of this chain is right here because this is the wrong side of the square. So you catch these two loops of the first chain on each square. Then working back in the opposite direction, catch these two loops and these two next. Working in a zigzag like this instead of like a whip stitch, for example, will give you the flattest, most invisible seam. I personally like to work with a cut of yarn that's about two feet or so. That's pretty comfortable for me. But if you want to minimize the amount of ends that you're gonna create with this joining process, then there's a couple things you can do. First, you can use one long cut of yarn, but that's gonna be a little difficult to work with. There is another method, and we'll talk about that later. When you want to add the next two squares, lay them out flat and start with the first chain again zigzagging back and forth using those back loops only. The perpendicular joins are actually worked in the same way. When the joins meet, just keep going as if it weren't even there. You could technically use any color in your project to make your invisible seam, but it works a little better if you choose a color that's on one of the outer layers of your cranny squares. So for these, I would ideally choose the cream color, but in order for you to see what I'm doing, I'm gonna use a contrast color. I have no clue how we're doing on time here, so just consider this a bonus if we're over. If not, then I totally meant to do this. Circling back to that other way you can potentially reduce the number of ends that you're creating with your seaming process, the magic knot can be a pretty good way of continuing to work with those shorter, more comfortable cuts of yarn, but not creating additional ends to weave in. Now it's not without its quirks. It does obviously create a knot in your project and that knot can tend to get hung up on the loops as you're seaming with it. But I find that's usually only an issue obviously until you get past the knot and it's not even a big deal. And honestly, I haven't had this knot fail me yet, so I feel pretty comfortable with it. All right, so if you want to make squares just like this, I'll have a link in the description where you can find the written instructions and a video tutorial. It's one of the most in-depth guides that you'll find on the internet for how to crochet grainy squares. And if you want to support the channel, then check out our shop. We have digital PDF versions of virtually every single pattern that we offer. And almost literally, as we speak, we're having some more t-shirts printed. And I'm really excited about those. We have like two crochet is cool hoodies left. I want to say maybe a small and a large, I think, are left. Don't quote me on that. I'll have the link in the description for those. And we also have some pattern bundles. So you can check those out. No matter how you choose to support the channel, thank you from the bottom of my heart because your support by checking out our shop, by watching the videos, by liking, by sharing, by checking out our free patterns, all of the things that you do, they keep me sitting right here and making videos for you. Happy hooking and I'll see you in the next one.